In this world of never-ending news cycles, social media, and access to more news than ever before, some news is so crazy that it makes us say, what the flip side? What do you think about the guy bouncing a baseball around between two buildings? A baseball gets stuck between two buildings. He tries to get it out and gets stuck. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Well, so, I hope it was an autograph baseball. Well, no, 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 no. He just <laughs> or something. He loses it. And, and he tried to knock out with a pole, and then he yes. falls in. Yeah. Right. Okay. You can't make right. some stuff up. Now, tell, him, tell this us is a how they got award. him out. How'd they get him out? <laughs> they had to cut through a concrete block wall. Drilled. And, it, and extract him out through the wall. Physically. Because the two buildings were so close together, they had to go into a room and, and cut him out. So, arguably, the zoning... <laughs> The commission <laughs> maybe is at yeah. fault here, right? It's in Hawaii, who knows? Yeah, yeah well, that's a, it certainly What about your cereal clogger, Ron? <laughs> yeah, and about the cereal clogger. A cereal clogger <laughs> taking 20 ounce, uh, 20 ounce soda, of, bottles. Uh, soda, uh, bottles. soda bottles and clogging up the women's toilet. And, and I mean, think, you just can't make this stuff up. <laughs> and the, yeah, they have video outside. WTF. Yeah, they have videos outside, and they think it's a guy who's going in there and doing it. And he's, you know, fl it, flushing and getting the bottle stuck. Yeah, well, the funny part, too, is that apparently the Sheboygan, you know, Sheriff's Department, whatever, has got all this stuff online. And like they said, well, copycats are yeah. <laughs> probably coming along. Say, hey, this is a great idea. You know, you're 15 years old. Or okay, Jim, go. here's an idea for you. Guy takes a taxi cab to rob a bank, robs a bank, <laughs> and leaves the bank and actually gets away. Yeah. Now, yeah, that's crazy. And takes a cab home. Yeah, so but but he, he left a six dollar tip on a four. That was very generous. Tip. He was very generous. But the good news is attorney. he wasn't arrested for grand theft auto. Yeah, you know it's it's funny. When I was in banking, I was at a conference at some point, and they they told the story of the guy that went in and robbed the bank, and he wrote the he wrote the uh, the the robbery note on the back of actually one of his real deposit tickets. <laughs> so his name and address. <laughs> We're on the other side of the piece of paper he used to write. Well, I guess the this bank. guy goes right along. Very there good. you go. <laughs> okay, Henry, we're going to come back to you. Oh, no. Hopefully, this never happens to you. Woman attacked her husband for forgetting the anniversary. What do you think of that? Well, there's certain things in life that you can't forget, and anniversary is one of them. Yeah. Uh, I've been fortunate because I, I, that the date of the anniversary, the day of the month is the same as my birthday, so I remember it that, that way. But, uh, yeah. Well, she beat him about the head. It yeah, says. And, and he the videotaped it. Yeah, or yeah. He used a cell phone. And my and thing is, well, maybe he got beaten before and he's got brain damage. So, so, <laughs> so wait a minute. So, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know. So do I understand, then, the only reason you remember your anniversary is because it's also your birthday? He's not going <laughs> to do that. that. And, and my daughter was born on the, on, the, on the 25th also. So, does I have three months during the year that are 25th. Does your, does your wife watch this program? Your legal <laughs> counsel tells you to keep going. Uh, well, my daughter and my wife... We're both born in the same month, so that's how I remember her birthday. Very good. Okay. Yeah. We're out of time for the week, but we invite you to email us with your comments or suggestions to feedback at theflipside.com. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to join us for next week for another edition of The Flipside.